I bought an Xbox Series X for MLB The Show 22. After playing on the console for a week, today we're gonna go through the pros and cons of playing MLB The Show on either console, the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. I will also mention some things with the Series S if you're someone who's also looking for more affordable next-gen console. But let's go through the comparison of how MLB The Show plays between the two consoles. So I wanna quickly cover a couple surface value things. Making a video like this could be a little tough. It always turns into maybe console wars, like one console being better than the other. I am talking in the realm of MLB The Show. Don't choose one console or the other if there are other extenuating circumstances. I just wanna try to explain to you the differences of playing on these two consoles as simply as possible. So first of all, these are both next gen versions of the game. You get access to custom stadium, 120 Hertz. So you're getting, you know, a, a better version of the game for both of these consoles than current gen. So if you're someone who's playing on PS4 or Xbox, one. You're going to have a complete different experience no matter what, making the upgrade on either of these consoles because you'll see smoother gameplay. Refresh rate, like I've talked about before, can help you with your response time on the game. So I've been playing on PS5 all year. If you see my lifetime stats here, you know, I played pretty well. I mean, I'm a pretty good player in MLB The Show. 165-57 record overall in the year. You know, 314 average and 1027 OPS is good. I'm amongst some of the better players in the game at this point, which, you know, I can definitely play at that level on PS5. PS5. Now that you took a look at that, I want to show you my stats for the current season because this entire ranked season I've been playing on Xbox Series X and holy smokes, it was without a doubt the best offensive season I have had. First of all, I have not lost a game in the season. I'm 12 and 0. I have a 914 slugging. 914 slugging is among some of the damn best players in the game. I hit 372 on the season in comparison to my lifetime 314 batting average. So as you can see, ever since I have hopped on Xbox, my hitting has drastically improved. Here is the best way I can describe it to you if you're someone who has never played this game between the two consoles before. The game plays more responsive on Xbox Series X in comparison to PS5. The best way to describe it is this. On PS5, as someone who's been playing on it all year, you hit the swing button in the game, there's a significant delay that you can feel in the controller in comparison to when you hit the swing button, the extra response. That means there's some sort of delay happening between your controller all the way to your monitor, displaying the image a little bit later. On Series X, you hit the swing button to swing, it nearly feels instant when you make contact with the ball, which means in the game, when you hit the swing button, it is showing the swing on your game right away, which means when you see a pitch in a certain part of the zone, the pitch in a more accurate time as it's in that spot in the game. So having the extra response means you can read pitches better, you can be earlier on the ball, you can actually get more accurate timing after reading the pitches a bit while playing on Xbox Series X. While on PlayStation, you intrinsically have to swing a little bit earlier, which means you have to slightly react earlier, which could be a problem on MLB The Show where you have very minimal reaction time, especially on the higher difficulties. If you guys wanna see what this type of input lag feels like. I made a video earlier on in the year. This is the same type of thing that it's talking about with that, that little input lag. And on Xbox, it is noticeably better. The numbers prove themselves. I'm having the best offensive ranked season I've had all year. Thing is, if you play on the Xbox, there are some downsides playing on the Xbox Series X in comparison to PS5. However, when you play on Xbox, playing the Series S mainly, any players with long hair like the dreadlocks and such like Andrew McCutcheon, they cause some frame spikes in the game. So you're not gonna get that consistent smooth 60 FPS. Also, there's this bug on Xbox. I haven't had it happen to me in the first week where you may go to load into a game of BR, ranked whatever mode online after it shows the lineup screen then the game just crashes and then you just have to take the loss i haven't had that happen yet however it might be something i run into one of these days which really wouldn't be fun and this is a problem that's been happening on xbox all year it's not to every single person on xbox all the time but this does happen here and there to people so if you're someone who plays an xbox there's at least a little bit of risk in you potentially losing a game when you load into it and finally on xbox is actually is a good thing i can actually right now 
play at 1440p 144Hz, which isn't the biggest deal, right? If you've got a monitor that's 1440p 144Hz, playing at 120Hz and 1440p is really nice. And PS5 currently doesn't support that right now. I think it's going to at some point. They're in beta testing with it where it supports 1440p. And at the very least, you're going to see the proper resolution of the game, which you know could be a factor in the clarity of what the game looks like. And just in general, on Series X, at least, I felt like the game is played like absolute butter. I haven't ran into any issues yet. It felt very good. And thus, you know, I've been playing really good in this game. And the last thing in terms of a key difference between PlayStation and Xbox is you gotta usually get another controller on Xbox for some reason. But the plain Xbox C Series S or X controller like this, it comes in the console, does not really work well with pitching on MLB The Show. It's a very weird thing. I haven't tried it yet because I already prepared and got a controller. I got myself a Power A Fusion controller. So that means you have to basically buy an off-brand controller only for MLB The Show. I don't know exactly why it happens. If you wanna get this controller, controller that I'm using. I'm going to put a link down in the description and in the comments. Go check out that Amazon affiliate link. It does support me if you use that link. Also, I will put a link to a Power A controller as well, just the cheaper one if you want to just get something for only MLB The Show, which I absolutely get as well. After playing a week on Xbox Series X, I have definitely improved as an MLB The Show player. As someone who is on the fence or has access to both consoles, I would recommend as of right now playing MLB The Show 22 on Xbox Series X if you have the opportunity to play it. However, this might not be the biggest deal for everyone. If you play the game very casually, it's not a big deal. If you already have a bunch of friends on PlayStation, I don't recommend only buying an Xbox just for your experience and that will be the show. However, if you are someone who really wants to have the best experience and you have access to both next-gen consoles, I would recommend getting an Xbox Series X. And I don't know why the game plays better like this. I don't know if it's just a back-end thing with the game reading the console better. I don't know if it's just the game was made better. I don't know if it's a controller thing. It could be a combination of a lot of things. But in terms of MLB The Show, this game plays a lot more responsive on Xbox. I appreciate you all watching this video. I would check out the other videos I made about response time, the refresh rate, and all of that, because there's something that plays that will be the show all the time and are trying to improve as a player. Minimizing the response time on your game is gonna really help you improve and get better on the higher ends of ranked seasons, for example. But I appreciate you all watching this video. Let me know in the comments which console you play on the show on, and I'll see you all again on the next video tomorrow. Deuces.